So in the bowl, we have two pounds of ground sirloin, 80%. Um, and I've got some breadcrumbs that I moistened with a little milk. Uh, I've got um, one egg to keep it moist also. Uh, salt and pepper and parsley. We'll pick that up in a minute. I have some onions cooking out in a small pan to make a, a small batch of spicy marinara sauce. So in here I have one onion, finely chopped, in olive oil and butter, a couple tablespoons of each, and I just added a couple of cloves of garlic. I grated it right into the pan. Uh, now we're ready to add in our sun-dried tomato paste. So this is a quick, spicy, tangy marinara. A couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. Um, now we're going to add in some crushed red pepper flake. I'm also going to use that in my meatballs and put that over there. My meatball patties, I should say. And a little oregano or marjoram. Lightly crush it in your palm to just kind of wake it up. Now you can throw in a little red wine, which you're probably going to enjoy with dinner. Or I like to use red vermouth in this sauce because like the sun-dried tomato paste, this is fortified red wine. So you're gonna end up with a sweeter, denser, more intense flavor by using red vermouth. Back to our meatball patties. We want these to brown in the oven, so we're gonna add a good amount, a few turns of the bowl of EVOO. We're going to grate in a couple of fat cloves of garlic, just like we did with our sauce. So a little bit of fennel seed or fennel pollen or both. Crushed red pepper flake. A little oregano in these guys too. Lightly crush. And of course the star ingredient, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. A lot, like a cup. Let me get the tomatoes into our pan. See, we've reduced by about half. Now we're gonna add our tomatoes. Dial this way back on the heat. Let the sauce cook down a little bit. Let the tomatoes heat through and break down a little bit. And I'm gonna add a few leaves of torn basil. Tear the basil, throw it into your sauce. This guy's good to go. Now for the meatballs, you need two baking trays. You can only fit three large patties on one baking sheet. So you're gonna need an extra small baking sheet, line them both with parchment, and get your patties into the oven at 450. So after about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how hot your oven works, you take your meatball patties out and top them with your spicy marinara. And now we're going to top it with mozzarella. For every four, you only need a half pound ball. We have this tiny little bit of parm left, might as well use. Ridiculous, right? So whenever you eat something that's literally a giant meatball on a plate that looks like a pizza, I make a salad so you feel less guilt about it. So you want about two tablespoons of uh, white wine vinegar, or red wine vinegar, wine vinegar, generally. Uh, we're gonna put in a little squirt of Dijon mustard. We're gonna balance that with a little bit of super fine sugar or squirt of honey. The rule is the lighter the color, the lighter the flavor. And then about a half a palm full each of granulated onion and garlic. About the same of dry parsley. Red pepper flakes and a little oregano or marjoram. Olive oil, of course. The rule when you're making dressing is three times the amount of acid. So if your acid is two tablespoons, you want about six tablespoons or about a third of a cup of the EVOO, of your olive oil. Salt, pepper, lid. Now for the salad, fennel, fresh fennel, red onion, and romaine lettuce. I top that with a little marinated mushroom, roasted red pepper, hot pickled cherry pepper, artichoke heart, our dressing. Mm. And, and a double handful of salami. <laughs> we take our meatball patty to the plate, top it a little more torn basil, and we're done. It's a party on plate.